What is up everyone, Ryan here again, this time coming at you with an overview of Mountain Lion, the newest operating system for Mac computers. Mountain Lion is not a complete overhaul of Lion, the previous OS, but according to Apple, Mountain Lion provides over 200 new features that will enhance your computing experience on a Mac. So let's go over a few of the more major changes in OS X Mountain Lion. First up is notifications. If you are currently using an iDevice, this system will be very familiar to you. Clicking on the icon in the menu bar or swiping from the right of the trackpad brings up the notification pane, much like that on the iOS. This will alert you to new emails, calendar events, tweets, or Facebook notifications. And Apple has included much deeper integration with Facebook and Twitter, but more on that in a minute. Getting back on track, you can also change how the notifications appear in the System Preferences menu, whether you want to click on them to make them go away or have the notifications disappear automatically after a few seconds. Next is the expanded support of iCloud. With the new Notes and Reminders apps on Mountain Lion, you are now able to sync your, well, Notes and Reminders across all your iDevices. One of the coolest new features of iCloud is the ability to open browser windows in Safari on your Mac that are open on other Mac computers you have or iPad or iPhone. Google Chrome has been doing this for some time now, but it is nice to see Apple's version of the feature. Another addition is dictation. By double tapping the function key, you can easily dictate words into any text field. For my limited use, I can say that the dictation feature is pretty accurate, and it's basically the same as dictation on the iPhone and iPad. Moving on, messages is iMessage for the Mac. With this app, you're able to send unlimited message to anyone with a Mac, iPhone, iPod, iPad, really anyone running iOS 5 or later with the iMessages app included. While you're unable to sync your messages directly to your iDevices, it does work well for a quick message or two to someone else. Sharing through email, Facebook, and Twitter is integrated into nearly every app. By clicking on the sharing icon, you can choose to send a link, photo, video, or note by way of multiple methods of social networking. More tweets that no one cares about. Awesome. So with all of these new additions to the Mac, Apple has gone to great lengths to keep your computer more secure. The new Gatekeeper security measure for apps allows you to restrict application downloads to only the Mac App Store or verified developers. However, you can disable this feature allowing you to download apps from the internet, but always be sure you know what you're downloading just to be safe. So these are some of the major changes in Mountain Lion, but there are also some small tweaks, like the newly redesigned dock with more discreet indicator lights, the ability to rename files from the top info bar, and a search functionality in Launchpad to sort through all of your apps. There are more features and tweaks that can be hard to find, so stay tuned to the channel for continued updates on Mac OS X Mountain Lion. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to talking to you next time. See ya!